Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on the Secura Automatic Milk Frother, model number F280R. So I really like these milk frothers that you can lift the milk jug off and there's no electricity in here. It uses magnetism to spin the little whisk. So this makes cleaning up this very easy. Now this part here, the base, you cannot get wet or immerse in water, so you just got to wipe it off. But I really like milk frothers like this, that you can just, you can put this in the dishwasher and it'll clean it up. You do have a whisk down here that kind of snaps onto a little stud down there. Now this does come with another whisk, which I had thought was, it didn't at first, but it's in the base. So it's kind of hidden. But this is for frothing. So this one is for heating milk, but no frothing. So it stores right there. Again, this is for frothing. So this is gonna turn, it's gonna whisk the milk and kind of make a foam on top of it. And it just snaps on there. Again, very easy. This does get hot, so be careful. Comes with a lid. You wanna make sure and have the lid on when we're frothing. The electrical cord is 30 inches long and it's a three prong cord. The base is right around five inches and it's like seven and three quarters tall. Now you will, it heats the milk with this surface right here. So this surface does get really hot. So be careful. On the bottom, it is 120 volts, 60 hertz, 600 watts. So it's only got one button for operation and it's got four different modes. So the first time you press the button, it turns red. Red is your standard. It's going to heat the milk and froth it. When you press it twice, it's going to turn white. That's for frothing chocolate milk. And you can press it again to cancel. If we press it three times, it's gonna turn blue. It's gonna froth cold milk. So it will not heat it, but it will still froth it and give it kind of a foam. The final mode is when we put this, this uh, whisk on, you're gonna put this whisk in there and just press it once for red. That's for heating with no frothing. So it'll heat the milk up, but it won't give it kind of a foam on the top. So here we have the milk container. It's got three lines. So there's a minimum line right there. The minimum line is five ounces. The line above it is six ounces. And the maximum line is 8.5 ounces. So the middle line is the maximum for frothing milk. The other max is if you're gonna heat milk, you can heat milk, that's 8.5 ounces. Okay, so today I will be frothing 2% milk, fat-free milk, and almond milk. Now the product recommends frothing milk above or 3% or above. But I'm kind of curious to see how it does with all three of these milk. Okay, first make sure you've got your froth, make sure this is in there because it could be a little hard to get in there if your milk's already in there. Then you're just gonna take your milk and pour it up. I'm gonna pour it up to that middle line. I'm gonna do the minimum, I'll do the minimum line. It's very easy to see. So this is very simple to use. Make sure you put your lid on. It sits right there. I'm going to press the button one time because I want to heat it and froth. There is a slight beep when you first turn it on, and there's a slight beep whenever, you, whenever it's done to let you know. So it starts frothing right away. I'll be measuring how long it takes to froth, and we'll, be, we'll check a temperature when we're done. Now be careful. The side of this does get hot while it's frothing. Okay, so that took about 2 minutes and 44 seconds. It did give a slight beep, and the light turned off. Okay, so let's see how it did. First, let's check a temperature. About 125, 136, 140. So we do have some nice, rich, creamy froth. I'm gonna add a little coffee to show you the separation. So you can see it created quite a bit of film foam and it's kind of a rich creamy foam. So let's go over cleanup. You're going to rinse this out. You can put this in the dishwasher. You're going to want to take that little uh, whisk out. Okay, so now we're going to try fat free milk. I've got it filled up to the minimum line. Again, we're going to put it on there and we're going to do hot. Okay, so it finishes in the same amount of time. Looks like we do have some froth. 
Ooh, that was nice and rich and creamy. Looks like that might have made more than the uh, 2%. Let's add a little bit of coffee to show you the separation. So there, there you can see it created quite a bit of foam on the top. Here's Miss Fiona. Okay, so now I've got unsweetened almond milk. We're gonna again, I got the, we're gonna froth it on heat. Okay, so let's see how it did with the almond milk. Looks like we got a nice, not quite as much maybe. Okay, so let's pour a little coffee in. So even the almond milk, it's pretty, pretty creamy. Not as thick and creamy as the others, but it's still a pretty nice foam. Okay, so next, I've got 2% milk in there. Let's do, let's do uh, frothing cold. So press that three times until it's blue. I've still got the whisk in there that we've been using for frothing, so it should froth it without heating it. Okay, so it's done frothing without heating it. So not quite as much foam on top. Let's pour in a little coffee. And the foam on top is dissolving pretty quick. Whereas the others kind of stay nice and thick. Okay, so now let's heat some milk. I'm gonna put this disc in it just kind of snaps on there and i'm going to fill it up to the max line with two percent milk so this time i just want to hit the button once i want it on red since it's got that other disc in there it's not going to froth it but it's going to heat the milk okay so that takes almost three minutes let's see how hot the milk is Okay, so it's right around 130 degrees. We can see there's not much froth on there at all. It is all pretty much heated milk. So this is a really nice frother. Again, I was able to froth all three of these milks. Thanks everybody for watching.